So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPad mini 5 unboxing. You can see iPad mini right there. It's 2019 and Apple decides to finally upgrade the iPad mini. I've been excited about this one right here. This also does support the Apple Pencil. So if you have the first generation Apple Pencil already, you don't have to go and purchase another one. It supports it. If you didn't get one, well, you kind of got to get one if you want to use the Apple Pencil. That kind of looks like an iPhone X right there, like a little symbol or something like that. But if you use this guy, definitely keep in mind that you're going to have to have a case to hold it onto there because there's nowhere, there's no magnet or nothing to put the Apple Pencil on. So keep that in mind. Go ahead and get into the iPad mini here. Now, this is actually very interesting because I've actually never unboxed an iPad mini or even covered an iPad mini in the history of this channel if I can't recall. I, I don't believe I ever did. Uh, do that so just like every other apple box this one didn't really upgrade anything in terms of design so if you bought an older ipad mini this thing's gonna feel exactly the same but you'll notice how mini it is right when you get the box the thing is tiny in comparison to every other ipad box out there and you could see i did go with the space gray model because i wanted to match my other ipads and you could see there you go we do not have any flash on the new ipad mini so keep that in mind over here we have some booklets and i'm sure we got apple stickers once again as we always get let's go ahead and let them come out and let me know do you like those Apple stickers? I don't really use them anymore as uh, I got so many of them. I kind of put the ones where I want to put them. And there you go. Another lightning port. No USB-C, unfortunately. And over here, we do have the charging brick. So this is going to charge it relatively quickly. But the battery life at 10 hours, like most other iPads, should be fine. You won't be needing to charge it too often. Okay, so let's go ahead and peel the contents of the iPad mini up. And I've actually played with these in store multiple times. And... The thing I really love most about it is the weight, only 300 grams, so not too much excitement with that plastic peel off, but only 200 or 300 grams here for this device. So what that means is it's only 100 grams heavier than a 10s Max, but because it's across his body, this thing is almost as light as just a big, big smartphone. So this thing actually has multitasking unlike the iPhones do, but the great thing about this is that we now have the Apple A12 Bionic chipset. Now that's a beast inside this little body right here so it does say hello i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up we don't need to run through the basic ios setup you've seen a million times do we so let me get this thing set up and we'll be right back when we're in okay so we're now in the ipad mini and what i want to say uh, my first impressions is that this thing is just pretty awesome that it has an a12 bionic i mean so small you could take it with you anywhere i mean it's just a tiny little ipad but it can still do multitasking like you can't do on an iphone it's brand new so we're gonna get a lot of pop ups here but you can do stuff like this which makes it more productive than an iphone but still nice and small so i really just like this about this ipad having that power of the new iphones which is ridiculously fast now another thing is that this is the sharpest ipad that you can buy 324 pixels per inch a lot of annoying ads or not ads pop-ups right now you can see we have some of the sharpest text on any iPad, actually it is the sharpest, and this is a laminated display. So the display on here is not behind the glass like the one on the 2018 Apple iPad. So keep that in mind, it's a very nice panel and it also does support True Tone on this one. So you can see right there, True Tone on the new iPad mini. I think that's a new feature as well. So this thing supports the first gen pencil, which is kind of old school. I really didn't like the way that this pencil worked with the, the way you have to put it in the device. It's just kind of awkward and I don't think great design, but Apple decided to not go ahead and put a magnet on this new iPad. I mean, they would have to change the design, I think, to do that as it's very thin on the sides, but you are connected and it does work pretty well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the wallpaper, see if they put any special wallpapers for this iPad mini and doesn't look like they did at all. So just bare bones iOS right here on the iPad mini 5. But it's rather exciting having the Apple Pencil here for the iPad mini because now you have the A12 Bionic, three gigabytes of RAM, which is not the most RAM, but it's enough for iOS. The iPhone XR has three gigs, runs it perfectly fine. So now you can do video editing, photo editing, and also drawing and being artistic on this little miniature iPad which is gonna be great for people who like to do their work on the go and they had to get the pro to get the pencil. You no longer have to do that. And you didn't wanna get the 2018 iPad. You've always liked the iPad mini, but we're loving those pro features. You have them here now for this new iPad. So 
I really do like having the pencil, regardless if it is an older version, it's still nice to have. So taking a look at the storage, we do have around 53 gigabytes out of a 64 gigabyte model. And that's something that you should note that the 2018 iPad starts at 32 gigs. This thing goes up to 64 at the starting iPad. So you get twice the storage. It is more money though, like 70 bucks more, but you get a better processor and more storage. So if you can live with the size, the iPad mini might be better value than the 2018 iPad. So here is the iPad Pro 10.5, which looks almost identical to that iPad mini in design. But I just brought it here for one thing, for a quick example, um, 120 Hertz display here. So you can see that it's just very smooth to scroll through this thing on the 120 Hertz. And you actually can feel it when you are scrolling through. It's just butter on the iPad Pro. Now the iPad mini does not offer that. So you do have a 60 Hertz display on here, which means that it's not gonna look that smooth. Even though it does have the A12 Bionic chipset, it's still gonna not look quite as smooth with the animations and stuff because it doesn't have that 120 Hertz display. But at the same time, it's still fast. So I don't think most people are gonna really care at all about that you have to pay significantly more to get an ipad pro with that feature so to me i just wanted to mention that but i'm not going to really miss it too much using the ipad mini however so another thing to note with this ipad mini 5 is that we do not have four speakers so you only have two here down at the bottom is it a big deal nope but i'm just telling you you don't have that whereas you get four speakers on a pro model device now i know if you're watching this you're probably not interested in a pro but i just want to tell you the sacrifices you make when you go to an ipad mini the 2018 ipads the budget model doesn't have the four speakers either so keep that in mind a couple other things to note about the ipad mini 5 we don't have a flashlight on this ipad so we're gonna have to get used to not having a flashlight if you had maybe an ipad before that had a flashlight and you decided to go down to the ipad mini also the ipad mini does not give you the X processor, so it's not the most powerful processor. The A12 Bionics should still be fast enough though, and way faster than the old iPad mini that had, I think, the Apple A8 chip, so it's like five, four or five times faster than that old iPad. And I feel really bad for the people that bought the iPad mini in the past few months that was still on sale, by the way, and then Apple drops one that looks exactly the same with way better internals. The front camera is a seven megapixel as well, so we're not gonna have the best photo or video quality, still people don't really take photos on their iPad this is a complimentary device to a phone so I never really care as a matter of fact I wouldn't even care if there was cameras on the iPad too much to be quite honest because I've never really used them on an iPad so you get the picture we covered most of it here I'm gonna do a full review on this baby this is just kind of a first impressions giving you some info about it unboxing and uh, it just has the old design it's, it's right in line with the iPhone 5s it's right in line with the old iPad airs and now what I want to do is go ahead and take a look at this iPad mini size comparison versus several other iPads all right so the first one I'm gonna bring in is the 2018 iPad which I will do a direct comparison video to it but you can just see the massive size of the 2018 iPad versus the iPad mini there's just no comparison here it's a very tiny device by comparison to that 2018 iPad so it fits inside the screen of the 9.7 inch 2018 iPad design is identical but however just much smaller much more lighter and compact than even this one which was previously one of the smaller iPads because Apple went away from the 9.7 inch so this one is kind of like the medium size now so let's take a look at it next to that iPad Pro 10.5 model which again this just looks like a bigger more premium version of this iPad mini. However, it has a slower A10X CPU in there. So we can see right there, iPad mini versus the 2017 iPad Pro 10.5. You can see massive difference there. The bezels are thinner for that 10.5 and it has a smoother display, but the iPad mini much more compact right there. And my absolute favorite iPad of all, the Apple iPad Pro 11 inch, the all new design one with the more iPhone 10 like functionality, the way it looks, having face ID. This is my favorite iPad right here. And the iPad mini is not gonna replace that, but still you can see much smaller than the 11 inch iPad Pro. That's not to say that none of these are portable. All of these iPads are portable. They're much, all of them are much more portable than a laptop. So keep that in mind. But the iPad mini is for those people who really wanna push it down to the most compact 
they can get. You can just see there's just no comparison here. The iPad mini is the compact mini version of all of these. Okay, so here's the Geekbench scores, 4,800 on the single core, 11,314 on the multi-core. This iPad is not messing around in performance at all. So that's it, iPad mini 5 unboxing. You might be wondering why I'm holding an iPhone 5S in my hand, and that's because I wanna talk about one aspect about this and i think that apple has done this strategy again where they took like the iphone 5s recycled the old design put these newer internals in there and they had a hit on their hands with the iphone se this same strategy applies here for the ipad and i think again apple will sell a ton of these things i don't think it's going to sell as well like what the se did but still, I think Apple would sell a ton of these things, and I think in the future, you're still gonna see the design of the iPad mini, if this does well, go on to the newer iPad. But we might not even see an iPad mini after that. So if you really want an iPad mini, I would say just pick one up and be done with it, because you can't count on Apple every time to just put a new design on every product you want. We've seen that for people who have been wanting the SE to be upgraded, it hasn't happened. So if you really want an iPad mini, I think this is gonna be an excellent choice. If you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, and informing, click the like button for me. Let me know what you wanna see on the iPad mini down below in the comment section. If you picked one up, share your experience with the community. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn notifications on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.